Whoa. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ken Kios. I'm a back with more Hogwarts Legacy. <coughs> this is part <coughs> 17, guys. In the last episode, we've done my first Transfiguration class. We've done the Lost Child. And now we are currently doing the. The Tale of Rolling Oaks. Right, I was just in here. There's a way up there. Looks like there's a chest up here. Revelio. Whoa! Right, that scared the absolute big Jesus at me there. Right. Nope, can't hop down that end. This way. No, it's not because that's where I just got the. This way. This way. I think I'm remembering. Okay. Right, Roland. Come and get her. Step out the way. There's Trelawney. You did it! Oh, I <coughs> my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin. You're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Wait, wait. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. Trying to get my ass out of here, then it looks. I have to remember how to. What's in here? Chest. Your slots is full. I'll quickly fix that. But which one's full? I'll pop off on that one. Pop off on that one. So why is it saying my gear slots are full? My gear slots clearly ain't full, brother. Right, let's see what happens. Why am I wearing that? 
Come on, you. Can I just fast travel my ass through here? Quests. That's all gobbledygook. Right, we'll do that one then, guys, shall we? Two seconds. Right, let's do this one. Can I? Oh, come on, I can't even use a map in this place. So, this way. Yep, I hope. Yes, this is the way out, guys. Tell me I need to fight. Thank you for making me the first object of your suspicion. Oh, my friends are now, don't I? And catch us. Come and catch me, no chance. Can't go this way, may go round. Cause you know something? I don't know what the balloons are for, but I'm gonna pop them anyway, because I guess I'm gonna need to pop them at some point. Ow. Speak with Amit. Wrong map. Is he in this room a requirement? Astronomy tower. There goes, give me the creeps. Right up the stairs. Stairs, yes. Up more stairs. Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Uh, Lodgok is waiting. Should we go? 
Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Vocally, vocally. <coughs> Looks like a fast travel here, wouldn't it go on this? <coughs> what are you up to now? I really dislike it when she says that. As if you've come into an enemy encounter or some shit. This place. I should investigate. Who lived here, I wonder? What the hell's the gold rings all about? are going to be heavy in here. Off on another adventure, are we? Not one of those Merlin trials. Try to see if there's anything that stands out. Not exactly. Wait a minute, guys. I'll have a quick look at this and see what. What do you have in store for me this time? I don't see shit. So what the hell is this thing? That's to be put somewhere clearly. But where? Exactly. I oh, have no idea. Come on, you. Right. Wouldn't it be out here about it? Nope. Convenient travel was before I invented blue packs. Where the hell am I supposed to put that big ball? Bombarder. Good finger. Nope, I have no idea, guys. Hey, right, come on, there's a lot A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earth God did not have the effect I'd hoped. 
Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. You said this would repair the chasm between the two of you. How did you not expect him to react this way? I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. A good castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. <coughs> he was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, uh, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. Is this maybe what this big do a uh, balls for? So the there's door is looking at us. Oh, creepy bastard. Right. I'll be quiet. Intrepid travelers, the both of you. Keep your wits about you. When guiding the heels. Oh shit. A bit too far away there. I think I'm supposed to take this up to this door. Or that's what I presume anyway. Or at least that's what I hope. Maybe not. The mind's eye. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mind. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe 
I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can to get out. Look at this lid. Shout room button. Bombarda. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Oh, shut up. I'll get rid of that for the time. I've read about mines like this, but seeing it is something else altogether. your wits about you, I'll meet. I'll get you through this mine. The shrew. Matter of time till Ranrock sets things right. Through here safely, I'll meet. You have my wife. Why could it sneaking about? We'll see. What the hell? I don't know. So what I'm supposed to do here? Looks like it. There's a big chest up there. How the hell did I get up there? This way. a big chest. Oh, come on. Gear slots is full again. Right, let's have a look. Gloves. Can't be that. Four. What's this here? That was cool, I like that. Now can I pick it up? Just 
seriously no letting me pick that up now. That's crap. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Heading up the stairs. Yep. There's goblins up here. That's the last loyalist. Unfortunate, really. I'd imagine most goblins to be brilliant and kind. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lord God empty headed. Must be this way. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. You should know better than that by now. What happens when you don't listen? Boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. I can see he says another boiler, but where the hell am I supposed to go to here? Right. Right, knew that open. This bit. I 
Because it's like it's going to get the hair. All right. Be the last of them, I'll meet. We hope. Rebellion. one of these Building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgot what we found. Oh, gear slots full again. Gear gloves. Forty-seven. Forty-four. I'm gonna destroy that. An astral rule. So how the hell do we get out this way? I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. We hope. That way. Some's tell me it's that way, but... Almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. We're going to get ambushed here. Lord Gork, I think Lord Gork's in way. Ran Rock. 
because Ranrock and Lord Gok sounds like brother names. Watch. How's it going? Can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Deal. Without further ado, at you. No, oh, wrong button. Square. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. That's Morganark. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. Oh, well. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch when I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals. But the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl.
Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. There's one there. So where's the other one? There's one there. See the pots, there's the bracers. So where the hell's the other one? I know I might have tried when I see one. I don't see the other one. Definitely don't see the other one. Can't, can't be up there, can I? Is it just two of this one, maybe? No, I see it. There you are. Oh, shit, head. I'll do this Merlin trial, guys, because I can see them now. Can catch them all. Ah, oh, just too late. Not so Got tricky after all. Man. Got it. Give me more uh, gear slots, I think, inventory. Right, questies. Let's quest these away over here. In the shadow of the mine. Imperial. Sebastian. Poached egg. One talent point. Oof. Learning that. A massive area effect. <coughs> Challenges. Let's see what's happening here. Managed to pull them. I don't know if I'm going to get them right enough. See, I don't know where the hell they went. Kraken cloak. That looks quite cool, I like that. You know some? I'm going to jump to the room of relativity. Oh, requirements, sorry. To check out my unidentified gear. And then I suppose we'll just call it here, guys, once they have a look.
Quidditch gloves. Imperial with his extra damage. Oh, well, actually, they don't look too bad. Both of them are the exact same. Increased damage with Bombarder. Do that as well. Right guys, well I think I'm going to call this one here. So guys, this is your boy King Chaos. If you enjoyed this episode, like, subscribe and hit the bell. And I shall see you in the next one guys. Bye.